hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to scan the qr and the barcode inside your angular application using a special library called as uh, zzing zzing library is a very special library inside angular which with the help of which you can scan the qr code or barcode and you can get the information inside uh, whatever information which is present inside the barcode or qr code so you can see that this is the application we will be building here so if the application loads for the very first time then it will ask for the permission which of the camera you want to select here you can select it from the drop down whichever camera you want to select here so this is my web camera which is the camera from the laptop so i will simply select this camera so you will see that the camera has been selected so now i need to show the barcode i need to scan the QR code so I will simply from the mobile phone I will simply show it let me show it to it you can see that now I am showing it just wait so now you can see that guys I am scanning this uh, live QR code with the help of this library so it has extracted me the text which is present inside this QR code so you can see that it has successfully scanned this QR code so with the help of which you can scan any sort of QR code that you want or barcode from your mobile phone from your laptop any anywhere and it will tell you this information which is present inside this so it's a simple link which will go to the whatsapp web so you can see that so we will be building this demo application guys in this tutorial so if you are like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well so for the building this i have already told you we will be using this library zzinc so basically if you just search for this library you will be knowing this zzinc library qr code and just search for npm so this is called as ngx scanner and it's a angular barcode and qr code scanner component library it has got 19,292 weekly downloads and it's a very popular library many developers use it so in order to install it it is very simple just uh, install this by using this command so let's start building this application guys so we will go into my projects folder and simply i will make a new directory here so which will be scanner i will cd into this scanner library and we will initialize a new project scanner so this will ask some questions to you that if you want to include routing i will say no and then we will use the css so now it will install these packages guys so just wait for in, in just making this angular project so after it makes we will install the library and we will make this uh, step by step now in order to copy all the source code guys if you want the source code you can refer my blog post i have written step by step instruction inside this with the images so i have shown you completely step by step how to do this inside blog post like structure so if you follow along with the video you can go to the video description link to copy all the source code so the i have given this source code in the video description simply go to the video description and copy all the source code so now let's get started so it is just making this uh, angular project so just wait it is just uh, installing the packages so just wait here so now you can see that guys it has successfully uh, now we can open this inside visual studio code text editor so the very first thing we will do is that we will install this library so if you just go to its uh, documentation page you will realize how to do this simply copy the command and simply paste it so this is your uh, npm i ngx scanner so this will install this library here and after that what you need to do guys simply go to your app.module.ts file simply you need to uh, include this module so we need to import this so right here we will write the line to import this so uh, z zing scanner module which will be imported from this 
automatically VS Code has already done for me. And now include this inside your imports array, which is simply Z Sync Scanner module. That's it. So this is all that you need to do inside this file. Simply close it, and now you need to go to app.component.ts file. And right here, guys, what you need to do is that you need to import two libraries. First is the Z Sync Scanner component library and the next one is the result so whichever result it will be shown you need to result from at the rate zing nangx scanner that's it oh sorry this needs to be coming from add uh, slash library so that's it after declaring this guys what we need to do is that uh, we need to go to first of all app.component.html file and right here you need to declare some html just to know what we are doing so we inside this div we will have a simple class to it of scanners shell and basically we will hide it whenever there is a boolean parameter we will attach it inside app.component.ts file so basically we will check that if the user has access to the devices so which is the camera in order to scan the qr code so if the value is true then only we will show it if the value is false then we will hide this section so inside this section guys what we will be doing is that we will simply asking the user to select the camera so inside the header we will have a simple select field where the user will select whichever camera that he wants to select and here we will attach a on change so whenever the user selects the camera this function will fire which is on device select change so you can name this function accordingly this is not mandatory that you need to name this like this and here you will pass the event object this is an important thing you need to pass it the information whichever event dot target dot value so this is the camera that the user has selected from the drop down so this is very much useful and inside this select field guys where there will be various options the first option will be simply this is simple html not very complex the first option will be the value will be nothing and the selected will be equal to the parameter which is current device this variable we will also declare and here we will simply show the label that no device selected to the user that whenever you load the application for the very first time then the text will be shown to the user that no device selected so we are just letting the user know that you need to select the device and then we will have the list of cameras installed inside the computer of the user so this is very much useful here we can use the ng for loop which is ng for directive and here we will we can show all the devices of users let device of available available devices and here the value will be simply so this needs to be surrounded by square bracket and this will be device dot device id so so the devices that you are uh, seeing right here you will see that in the drop down we will be populating all these uh, devices with their uh, unique device id so this is meant by this so you need to do this in order to show that drop down so after that guys you also need to write this complex code let me write it copy this so so whichever device you select this will be selected right here inside this you will see that i think it is very complex code let me paste it so you just need to understand that it is just populating the entries of the devices which are installed on the computer device so 
that's all it is doing so I think this is uh, yes this is the option copy it and paste it that's it so after this guys uh, this is over and then inside the second section if you see here we will display the info which is uh, parsed of the QR code after this header so this is uh, the actual library tag here a directive we will attach the scanner like this start is true device whatever device the select user has selected and uh, if the scan is successful then we this function will fire and uh, holding the event object so these formats are supported QR code ENS code the data matrix all these codes which you know and section in this section we will display the result simply this value is if the value is set then this value will be shown to the user that's it guys inside the app.component.html now moving on to this uh, app.component.ts the typescript file where the actual logic will reside so for this we will need to declare some variables so for this we will actually need the view child library of angular to actually bind the scanner the scanner will be an object of zzing component so it is saying that quick fix so you just need to put this like this has devices it will be a boolean so again you need to put this symbol that's it and also qr result string this will be of type string qr result this will also be of type uh, result two more variables we need to declare which is this one which is available devices and the current device available devices are the less list of devices which are installed on the computers like this and the selected device whichever you, uh, device the user selects like this so after you declare all these variables guys we will now be attaching a simple method which is ng on in it this method you know that's a life cycle method so when you application loads for the very first time this function automatically executes so here inside we will initialize our cameras found this is a method we need to subscribe to it it will have the list of devices which are installed on the computer so this will be of the type uh, media devices if you see media device info this will be an array of that type we have declared this I think we haven't Yes, yes, yes. this will be an arrow function so inside this function guys what we need to do we need to initialize this dot has devices to true and this dot available devices to also true and now guys what we need to do is that sorry this needs to be equal to devices number of devices and now we need to loop through of each device each device which is found we will use the for loop so const device of devices so for each device we will have uh, this if condition which is back rear this is front camera and the environment 
gi dot test this code you need to write guys so this is just a boilerplate code for getting all the devices this dot scanner dot change device change device to actual device this dot current device is equal to device and break uh, I think we have written let me paste it this code this needs to be device change I think So we can simply now what we can do after this we can simply copy all this So these are the three functions which will be responsible for handling the QR code uh, scanner. So let me write this so you will see that. I think locally this uh, library is not working here because you can see various uh, things are present here which is not allowing is so what you can do is that you can refer to this example that I've shown you at the starting of this video this example is working and you can just troubleshoot which uh, angular version they are using by going to package.json because uh, many a times these libraries will not work with the latest version so what you can do is that you can simply look at the version that they are using and simply change the version to whichever version you are developing so that way this uh, library will work so I will strongly recommend this going to stackblitz.com and going to this example and uh, here they have this is a working example and looking at this you can also develop it locally as well if you want to and uh, thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video